Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today, I'm gonna to walk you through how you can get more clients with short form videos. So this includes things like TikTok, Facebook Reels, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts. You can even publish the same kind of videos on uh, Twitter and LinkedIn. So that's at least six different social media channels that are allowing you to publish short form video content that is right now helping you get massive amounts of reach compared to anything else that you can do. So if you're publishing long form video content on YouTube right now, it's a great way for you to generate traffic leads and sales over the long term, but the virality potential is much lower unless you already have a big audience. That doesn't mean that you shouldn't be publishing longer form video content because there's a reason why you do need long form video content, which is what I'm also about to explain to you in this video and the process on how this works so that you can get clients. But if you're a business, if you're trying to build a brand, not just necessarily a personal brand, but a brand for your business so that you can step back and become the CEO instead of being a creator and spending all of your time recording video content, then this video is for you. This process that I'm gonna go through today is going to help you not only reach hundreds of thousands of people every month, and I'm gonna show you the results that we're getting for our videos as well as what our clients are getting and what's possible when it comes to short form content. Um, but it's also going to help you generate more inbound leads, more inbound sales, and you can monetize every segment of your audience. So that means if you are reaching a massive amount of people, perhaps you're only going to be able to currently sell to a small percentage of them. Maybe you only want to get CEOs booking appointments with you. But if you're reaching a huge volume of people, it means that you can monetize different segments with different offers. So yeah, look guys, I'm very excited to go through how this works with you on this video. If you're not sure, uh, who I am, or if you've not seen a video from me before, my name is Jordan Barnett. I run a company called Video CEOs. We basically use videos to help our clients build audiences and then monetize those audiences, okay, so that they can increase monthly recurring revenue. If you're struggling to get known in your business right now, perhaps you're already a successful business, but you're really pissed off, not enough people know about you, then this video is going to walk you through a process that is going to help you not only grow your company, and increase your monthly recurring revenue, but also help you get known in the industry and make sure people know your brand, okay? So the potential of short form videos. These are just a few snapshots of the kind of results that you can expect when pushing content. So uh, these two screenshots firstly are from YouTube. So as you can see, 8.3 million views in roughly 90 days. Okay, this is with short form video content on YouTube, 13,000 subscribers. Now the subscriber count doesn't necessarily matter. And you can do this if you're starting from scratch or if you already have a base to go off. The thing that I wanna point out is that all of these social media platforms are pushing short form video content. So the virality potential, the reach potential when you publish short form videos is absolutely massive compared to anything else. And this is how we're able to generate these kind of numbers. Okay, you can even, break down your uh, demographics when you publish these videos. So you can decide who actually sees your video content. It's not a case of just publishing it on your newsfeed like you would uh, you know, previously, like on LinkedIn and Facebook and just hope that people see it for that one day. These videos last forever, like I said, and they're targeted based on how you optimize the video. So this includes uh, targeting keywords and search trends or even hashtags. So you can get your videos presented or displayed right in front of the people that you're actually trying to attract into your business. Now, a lot of people believe that reaching such a, a, a big audience isn't really necessarily, you know, it isn't part of their goal. They only want to go for the decision maker. But the fact is, most CEOs, most decision makers work in an office and they have people working under them. So if your content is also hitting people in the same building as them, in the same industry, then those people below the CEO are going to be talking about your content, about your brand, about your business. They're going to be sharing that content in Slack channels and Discord channels, on WhatsApp, on Facebook. They're going to be discussing it in meetings or when they go and get a coffee with the decision makers that you are trying to get on the phone. And so what is this going to do for your business, for your brand? It means that you're going to be able to build trust organically and naturally and build authority in the market before you've even had a conversation with the decision maker. Okay. So as you can see for this particular channel, we're reaching a female audience. And this is actually quite difficult to do on YouTube because 70% of the YouTube uh, community are actually males, believe it or not. So this is a kind of 
reach and and targeting options, the specificity, if that's even a word, that you can do with these kind of videos. All right. So I'm going to just scroll through uh, this um, these results real quick. I don't want to make this video too long because most of mine are quite long. This is another one, almost 20,000 views in 90 days. This is more with long form video content. There's the same kind of approach applies. Okay, You don't have to be on camera to get, get these kind of results. This is the thing. Everyone is pushing personal brand and being on camera, this and that. Let me tell you this. If you want to build a really big company, if you want to build a, a million dollar, multi-million dollar, hundred million dollar company, billion dollar, go and look in the market right now and tell me how many people have a personal brand that run these type of companies. Most of the time, they're run by a team. Okay, and you don't even know who's running them. You buy, you're buying or the company sells their products and their services based on the, the transformation that they can offer, the value that they can offer to their clients, right? It's not necessarily about the personal brand. So if you're looking to build a personal brand, you have to understand that you're always going to be a creator because you have to create a lot of short form video content. You have to create it often and consistently, and you've got to be locked into doing it for a long period of time, which is why faceless video content is the way forward if you want to build an actual brand for your business, right? Some videos that you publish, especially uh, short form videos, they can get massive amounts of reach in a few hours or, or a day, right? So as you can see, these ones are on, uh, on Instagram. Uh, this is on our actual channel, okay? So this is on the video CEO's Instagram. If you go and look at it now, there's not a massive amount of subscribers, but we're getting a lot of reach, which means that we can retarget the interactions with new offers or get people booking calls. So as you can see, almost 16,000 people viewed and interacted with this video. That's now an audience of 16,000 people from one video that's being posted, okay? Six and a half thousand, 7,000. YouTube Shorts, it works in the same way. And something I also wanna point out here is that some videos, if you publish the same video on YouTube, it might not get the same amount of reach as it would on TikTok, or the same video on Instagram might not get the same amount of reach that you have on a Facebook reel. So the process that we use, and I'll explain this to you in a, in a short second, is to make sure that you're creating video content that can be published across multiple platforms, which essentially gives you redundancy, because if there's an issue or an algorithm problem or you know some kind of change on one, one uh, client acquisition channel, it means that you're not locked into that channel and you're able to spread your, your wings, spread your reach, which allows you to build your audience faster. And right now we're able to double an audience more or less every 30 to 45 days for each client. So YouTube Shorts, 1,300 views. Okay, from a single video, 1,700, 2,800 views. Imagine if you're publishing two or three of these videos every single day for a month across four, five, six different social media platforms. You can see very quickly how you're able to reach hundreds of thousands of people every single month. And when I speak to... Uh, brands or businesses that are looking to grow their audience and are looking to attract more sales and increase their monthly recurring revenue, one of the things that we can guarantee at the moment is that we're able to reach an audience of over 100,000 people. If you were to spend money on ads to reach that many people, it's going to cost you four or $5,000 a month. And the ads that you're displaying to those people, well, you're displaying them to people that might not be, uh, have any intent to buy. Whereas with video content, you can actually display your videos to people based on what their search terms are and what they're following. So if they're following certain uh, hashtags or keywords or they're, or they're actively searching for things on Google, okay, which is connected to YouTube, that means that your videos can be displayed to those people that actually have buyer intent. So they're more likely to buy, especially if they book an appointment with you because they consume content. Counts reached, this is Instagram, 73,000 in a month. okay, And there's also engagement here all right, and followers that you're getting in addition to that. So the people that are following you and subscribing to you, they're gonna to continue to see more content. It gets suggested to them. And like I said, you can start retargeting people that are engaging. Over here on the left, you know, 707,000 views, okay? And one of the things I also wanna point out as well is that because you're getting this reach, a, a percentage of those people or those views are going to be clicking onto your profile. Okay, so they're going to be able to consume more content and you're going to give them reasons to book appointments or go and visit your website. Okay, this is like referrals on steroids. If you're used to building a business through word of mouth or referrals, this will work very well for you because if you're creating viral potential videos, you're going to get lots of people sharing them. So you just get massive amounts of reach this way of short form video content. Facebook is another one. A lot of people don't realize that Facebook released Reels this year. Facebook Reels are getting massive amounts of reach as well. So if we were to com combine all of this together, right? You've got YouTube, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. Okay, those are the three big ones. 
because you have shorts, YouTube shorts, you have TikTok, which, you know, they basically founded the whole short form video content uh, phenomenon, which is why all these social media platforms are pushing this content. They're trying to compete with TikTok. You've got Facebook Reels, which gets a massive amount of reach. You've then got uh, LinkedIn, uh, Twitter, and I think I'm missing one, but there's basically six that you can do. Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, uh, Instagram. I said it earlier. <laughs> I'm trying to run through this video real quick, but there's six that we push this content on. Okay. Um, so you can see when you're publishing a video every single day to five or six different social media platforms, Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. Okay. Then you're going to be able to reach massive amounts of people. You can retarget them. Okay. So what's happening right now, short form video is a new trend. So the reach is massive, right? It's insane. And like I've already said, social media platforms, they're pushing this short form video content. So if you're currently not getting the recognition that your brand deserves, that your business deserves, you need to be considering marketing your business on these channels. You can do outbound prospecting. You're never going to get the volume needed or, or, you know, the volume that you can reach with video content. You can use VAs to do that. You can scale it. You can, you can hire a sales team. It's going to cost you even more money or you can run ads. Okay. But right now the cost per impression, depending on your industry or Facebook, uh, being usually the lowest cost per impression, depending on your industry, Facebook's like 30 to $50 CPM. I know in tech and finance, it's like 40, 50, $60 cost per impression. And the price of that is only ever going to go up. Right? So to reach hundred thousand people a month, you're looking at spending about four or $5,000 every single month. Right. Whereas a video content, once you published it, it lasts forever. You can generate traffic to your website forever. You can get booked inbound appointments forever, sales, opportunities, leads forever. Okay. So this is how it works. So how you get clients with short form video content, right? So you publish the short form videos on the acquisition channels that your ideal clients are on. And the ones I've already said are where your ideal clients are on. Trust me, they're everywhere, right? Because you're getting so much reach, you can then start conversations with anyone that likes or comments on those videos, right? Or even views those videos. You can actually see a list oftentimes of the people that have viewed and you can retarget that audience with ads. Now, if you are familiar with running ads, it only costs you maybe $5 a day to retarget a really big audience. So the cost to acquire a customer is going to be far less than if you were to run cold uh, traffic ads, right? Because they've already consumed your content. So moving down on the left, let's say we're retargeting the interactions. Let's say we're just creating massive amounts of content. We're getting massive amounts of reach and we're just spending $5 a day to retarget that audience that we're building. You can retarget them with offers so that you can monetize each segment of your audience, right? So typically if you're a B2B, you're in finance, you're in tech, you're going to automatically assume that you can create an ad to get someone to book an appointment and you're not wrong. But the thing is, if you're reaching 100,000 people a month, you're not going to get that many people booking appointments. There's probably a big portion of that audience that aren't going to be the decision maker that you're looking to actually sell your higher ticket product or service to. This is why when we work with clients, we try and help them monetize those additional segments. So you can create different products, different services that are much lower tickets so that you can hit each one of those segments. And this is how we increase monthly recurring revenue and help you get more clients because you can send people from those lower ticket products and services into your higher ticket products and services. And so this is how you generate sales. Okay. That's with retargeting ads and retargeting the audience that you're building across different social media channels. And you, like I said, you want to do this because some of these social media platforms are going to restrict you or they're going to ban you or there's algorithm changes. Things, things happen rapidly online. So if you're across different channels, it means that you're not risking your, your lead generation, your sales pipeline. Right? So that's one way of doing it. The second way is to start conversations with the people that interact with your video content. Or they, you know, they like things, they comment, they follow you. You can start interacting with them. You can hire virtual assistants to do, do this. If you've already got a sales team, they can do it. Okay. Each one of your videos is also going to include call to actions, right? Or a certain portion of those videos are going to include call to actions, like check out the profile, click the link, book an appointment, check out the profile, click the link, opt into this lead magnet. All right. So that's how you collect emails and get inbound sales and appointments just from the videos itself without using any outbound methods or sales team. But if you're a business that's already successful, you've probably already got these systems in place. So it makes sense for you to leverage that team and 
send messages or contact, start conversations with the people that are interacting with your video content because they're interacting with it for a reason. Okay. They're already interested in the, in the search terms or the hashtags that you're using, right? Your videos only get shown to people that are going to be interested in it. That's how you get massive amounts of reach, right? Unlike ads, sometimes you're only targeting people based on an interest that they might have been interested in months ago. It's not always as accurate as it was, you know, back in 2014 when Facebook ads were killing it. And other platforms, there's, there's other issues that, that are going on with those platforms, okay? They do work. Ads, if you've got the money to spend, by all means, spend money on ads. But if you're looking to reduce your cost per acquisition, increase your profit margin, there's no other strategy that is going to help you get there, like short-form video content. So when you're starting those conversations, you just want to have an, you want to try and get the email from that person so that you can send them a valuable long form video. I like to call these sales assets. Okay. So your long form video content are going to be descriptions and demonstrations on how your product or your service helps someone achieve a transformation or achieve a result. Basically, whatever you're delivering, whatever you're helping them achieve, you want to demonstrate that in a longer form video. And again, you can do this about you being on camera, right? Back in the day, this was just PowerPoint presentations. Most of the time, no one was on camera doing that, and it was just a recorded presentation with audio. You can do it in this way, or you can create a very high-quality animated style sales asset or sales video that helps people understand visually what your product or service is going to help them achieve. Okay, So ask permission. Once you've got that email, ask permission to send them this sales asset, and then you can create follow-up sequences to deliver more sales assets based on the the common questions, the frequently asked questions that your prospects typically ask on a sales appointment or in the DMs or in emails. And if you're, again, a successful business, you've probably got a list of common questions that people ask you. So instead of repeating yourself all the time, instead of training your sales team to answer these questions in the exact correct way every time on a sales call, you just have video assets that explain those answers. And this is going to trans transfer or transform into booked appointments. So this is how you get clients with short form video content. Right? And this, like I said, works across all these channels. This is a video, vir video virality flywheel. Okay? The more content you, cre you create or produce and, and publish and schedule, the more reach you're going to get, the more leads, the more traffic, more sales, and it just works in a circle, exactly like a flywheel. Okay? So how do you actually do this without taking up any of your time being a creator so that you can step back and be the CEO and potentially sell your business without you being the bottleneck or continue to market your products and services without you being a bottleneck or having to hire someone that you know could be an actor for your business who could eventually leave in the future anyway, right? The way that you do this is with the virtual teams. You can leverage virtual teams to produce videos at scale. So this would include researching the video topics, the hashtags, the keywords, the trends, the news, Right, so that you can capitalize on what's happening right now live. Uh, script writers, voice actors, video producers, graphic designers. Okay, pull together a team. You can you can hire them and train them in order to produce video content at scale. I'm talking, you know, two or three videos every single day, which you can then publish at different times in the day across different social media platforms. This way, you eliminate any of the energy that you're currently spending wondering what are the best times to post content, what is the type of content that we want to publish, where should we publish it? Just do it across all ver verticals, uh, all vectors, okay? It's like a war on all fronts, and this way you can't fail. You also get more control over the video analytics if you create faceless video content without you being on camera. So not only are you going to be able to save time, you can also look at the analytics of the videos and then you can improve them. You have more control over the production process which means that you have more control over the virality. You can actually use hooks to pull people into every video. Right? You can use transitions, fast transitions, animations and effects, sound effects even, to hold people's attention for the duration of the short form videos. Okay? And then you're gonna to wanna to look at the statistics or the analytics to see what kind of engagement those videos are getting, when are the best watch times, the virality potential, and then you're gonna to wanna to capitalize on those trends based on what you see over a certain time period. Now, what I recommend is you publish short form video content for roughly two to three months to truly figure out where you can best leverage this video content and get the maximum bang for your buck, right? So like I said, you have a, a team that's going to research, script, produce videos consistently, which means you don't have to sacrifice any of your time. If something happens in the news right now today, you want to be able to capitalize on that. Specifically, if it's in your industry, it's going to affect your clients or your future clients. Okay. And another thing is to optimize your social media profiles. 
You want to include call to actions in the videos themselves, as well as in your profile. So that when someone watches a video, the first thing they're going to do is automatically go and click on your profile. So you want to have a headline or a description there, depending on the social platform, how many words you can put into that bio that tells people what to do next. Typically that is to get someone to book an appointment by visiting your calendar or vis visiting your website. If someone visits your website, you, you're continuing to build your audience. You can uh, retarget website visitors as well with new offers. And then you can use all kinds of software to figure out where on, the, on your website they go so that you can create very, very tailored offers to different segments of that audience. And this is how you monetize the audience through the reach that you're getting. This is how you can increase your monthly recurring revenue, get more clients, grow your business. So the monetization strategies, I just want to go through these real quick before we finish up. Like I said, I wanted to keep this video super short. So once you've built an audience, there's a variety of things that you can do. This is just an example. Okay. So if you are familiar with some personal brands, uh, or, you know, people in your industry may have written a book as an example. And so they're selling a book in order to increase their trust and authority in the market. So it makes it easier for them to actually get customers. It's the same way as if you were to have an article about yourself or your business published on Forbes or entrepreneur or something like this, but a book is just more material, right? It, it's something that people can hold in their hand. It gets sent to them. Um, there's just more volume in there, more value, right? So a book is an example of a way that you can monetize these audiences. And you might create different books for different segments of the market in order to send people into your higher ticket products or services, right? So low ticket. I would class that as books. A high ticket uh, product could also be a book as well if you can combine it with a few other things. Um, you know, info products, mini courses, trainings, challenges, things like this. High ticket is the same, it's just depending on the price point that you use. So if you're reaching 100,000 people over a month and you've got a low ticket product priced at $100 and you sell to 1,000 people every month, you've made 100K, right? If you sell to 200 people of a 100,000 person audience, you've made 20K. All right, so this is how you can increase your monthly recurring revenue using higher ticket, low ticket uh, info products and, and you know even material products like books. Subscription programs is another one. You could get people to sign up to something for $100 a month, right? So you can create brand new offers around your services. It could be literally anything, right? It could be a course style. It could just be a, a, an add-on to your bundles that you're uh, already providing, okay? There's a lot here that you can do. Affiliate commissions and sales, all right? So affiliate commissions basically means that if you've got a really big audience, you can sell someone else's product or service off the back of that audience. Um, it's basically like, you know, getting sales commissions. You typically would work with a company or a software or a business or a brand or a person that sells to the same audience as you, but isn't a direct competitor. This way you can leverage each other's products and services and build off the back of each other's audiences. So this is a, a, an amazing way for, for you to scale your business. This is, you know, affiliate marketing, essentially. Some people make millions of dollars from this. Most influencers and creators, the reason that they, you know, buy Lamborghinis and things like that is because they're working with affiliates. So you could take the same concept and apply it into your business. And then there's sponsorships and promotions. So Let's say you're uh, an IT service provider and you want to work with a vendor or you, you currently sell a vendor's products and services, a vendor might sponsor your channels. They might, they might sponsor your videos, your social media channels in order for you to sell more. And uh, like I said, make more affiliate commissions. You might be able to promote people's events, right? Let's say you're in finance and there's a big finance event coming up in your city. You might be able to uh, publish content that's related to your business still and trying to get you to sell things. Uh, but talking about that event, so that the, the event uh, actually sponsors your content so that you put that into your videos, so you're able to you know, attract more potential leads and customers that way, as well as generating some income. So this is how you can get more clients with short form video content published, published across at least six different social media channels. It's reaching an audience of 100,000 people per month. Right? It's very easy to do right now if you start now if you fail to capitalize on this trend it's going to be like failing to capitalize on facebook ads in 2014 right if you're running facebook ads now you're not getting the same kind of reach or results that people were getting years ago short form video content is where it's at you can be a creator you can record videos where you're on camera right or you can use a virtual team to produce more videos more consistently across more channels in order to grow fast. So it kind of just depends on where you're at in your business and what you want to accomplish. 
if this is something that you would like help with, guys, like I said, this is exactly what we do at Video CEOs. We help our clients build audiences and then monetize those audiences. We typically work with companies in tech and finance, but give us a, uh, a call, okay? Schedule a call with us, fill in the application form. We might be able to help you depending on where you're at and what industry you're in. We've worked with software, we've worked with finance, tech, we can do healthcare, okay? Um, so if you schedule a call, either myself or someone on my team will give you the step-by-step -step roadmap on exactly how this works, how you can apply it into your own business yourself if you want to train and hire your own teams, okay? And you want to you know, be uh, bring everything in-house. Or if you want our help, we can make a decision on, on that call as well, okay? Um, so yeah, hopefully, you guys, this has been valuable to you. If you're not getting clients right now and you're struggling with paid ads, you're struggling with outbound prospecting, video content is the way forward, especially on YouTube. Okay, they've, they've just now introduced handles and in January 2023, they're gonna be paying uh, creators or sh that create short form video content. Okay, so this is another one. Okay, you can even get paid by AdSense. All right, so there's a lot of ways to monetize this video content and the video content is gonna last forever, helping you generate sales, leads, traffic, increase your revenue forever. Unlike ads, whereas, you know, you can pay every month for ads, the moment you switch them off, your leads and sales dry up. This is the only way for you to leverage something right now that is gonna help you be sustainable and build your business over the long term. So guys, like I said, hopefully this has been insightful and I will see you in the next one.